see online um, a lot of people are drawing uh, maybe some parallels between what has gone on in the world uh, this year and maybe your experiences personally at Evergreen. How aware were you back then of what was coming and is this something that you could have possibly predicted or foreseen? Well, uh, not only could I have predicted it, but I did predict it uh, rather directly. If people want to go and take a look at uh, my congressional testimony, for example, I warned the Congress that what they were seeing on college campuses was not about college campuses, that that was the first major battle, and it had very little to do with free speech, that free speech was a casualty of a movement that was about power. And the fact is, what I predicted, which is that this would spill out into civilization, that it would take over many institutions, that it would threaten our system of governance, all those things are now increasingly understood. And many people have pointed out just how accurate the prediction was. Now, to be fair, even I'm surprised at the speed with which this has happened. Where do you personally see this social justice movement heading as it almost has a compound effect? Well, it really depends what happens in the upcoming election. If the Democrats prevail in the US, I expect them to attempt to manage the social justice movement cynically, and I expect them to lose control of it, which will be a disaster. If the Republicans win, then I expect that they will crack down on dissent and cause a backlash. But either way, it looks like our growing obsession with race is going to dominate the conversation. And that places not only the US, but the West in grave jeopardy.